The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Thursday, August 19, 2021, and giving you the best parlay picks on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below our new Patreon, as a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Our parlay picks for tonight will be. Miami Marlins vs Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati Reds wins, money line. The National League East takes a shot at the Central on Thursday night, as the Miami Marlins head into Great American Ballpark to take on the Cincinnati Reds for a four-game series. Miami lost their most recent series against Atlanta, while Cincinnati also lost their series to Chicago. For Thursday's game, the Marlins will give the ball to right-hander Zach Thompson for the start, and the Reds will counter with right-hander Luis Castillo. Castillo had a rough start to the season in the first two months, before finally controlling his command and turning into a far more solid pitcher over the last two months or so. He is, unfortunately, starting to show some of the problems he displayed in April, such as putting too many runners on base and allowing far too many runs. In his defense, Castillo has made a whopping 25 start so far to go with 137.1 innings, but you can buy his 6-12 record and 4.51 ERA that he isn't always in control of his stuff. Right fielder Jesse Winker leads the team with 129 hits and a .307 average. Outfielder Nick Castellanos has been excellent as well, recording 120 base knocks at a .313 clip. Rookie third baseman Jonathan India has 107 hits during what has been an impressive debut. They will be facing a Miami pitching staff that is number 11 with a team ERA of 3.84. Right-hander Luis Castillo is going to start for Cincinnati on Thursday. He allowed three runs across 6.2 innings against Philadelphia in his last start. Castillo has five quality starts in his last six appearances. There are plenty of factors that have contributed to this steep line on Cincinnati, but betters can play the run line at minus 110. An obvious factor in this series is going to be motivation. The Reds are right in the mix for an NL wild card spot, while Miami's season is essentially over at this point. Cincinnati is also in the better scheduling spot, continuing its homestand. Miami is having to play on Wednesday night before traveling to Cincinnati. Castillo was bad to open the year, but he has been an excellent starter over the last few months. Miami's offense lacks the firepower to scare him in this game. Philadelphia Phillies vs Arizona Diamondbacks. Under 8.5. The Arizona Diamondbacks have been struggling this season as they are last in the NL West with a 39-81 record so far. They will have veteran Southpaw Madison Bumbrenner pitching here and is coming off a no decision against the San Diego Padres, where he went 6.2 innings and allowed a pair of runs on nine hits, with no walks and six strikeouts. The Philadelphia Phillies have been stagnant as of late, as they are second in the NL East with a 61-58 record. Wheeler has quickly emerged as a possible front-runner for the NL Cy Young Award. The veteran right-hander is posting a 2.56 ERA through 24 starts this season, and he has thrown at least 6.0 innings in six straight starts. Opponents are hitting just .212 against him on the year, and Arizona has a fairly light hitting offense. Bumbrenner has been stellar over the last month, and he has his not walking many hitters. They will be sending righty Zach Wheeler to the mound, as he is coming off a losing effort against the Cincinnati Reds, where he went six innings and gave up four runs on four hits with a hit by pitch, a walk, and six strikeouts. Both offenses have struggled to get the bats going in the first two games of this series, and this is the best pitching matchup of the series. The under is hitting at a 59% clip at Chase Field this season, so consider rolling with the under in this matchup. Quick reminder, you can get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on our partner Sportsbook BetUS after you open an account using our link down below and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES when making your deposit. Milwaukee Brewers vs. St. Louis Cardinals. Brewers win, money line. 
Brandon Woodruff has been pitching extremely well this season, according to his baseball save-in page, as he is in the 96th percentile in average exit velocity, 93rd percentile in hard hit percentage, 89th percentile in Zara, and 88th percentile in barrel percentage. His 85.4 mph exit velocity is the lowest since his rookie season. Woodruff has a five-pitch arsenal, fastball, sinker, curveball, changeup, slider, and the curveball has been dominating hitters, as it has a .113 batting average, with a .138 slugging percentage. He faced the Cardinals once as he did not factor into the decision, as he went 7.2 innings and allowed a run on three hits with a walk and 10 strikeouts. The Milwaukee Brewers are running away with the NL Central, and they're doing it because of their starting pitching. They have had three aces carry them through the season, and while they've all been stellar since the start, Brandon Woodruff has perhaps been the best of all. Woodruff has pitched to an outstanding 2.18 ERA in his 23 outings, averaging more than six innings per start and holding opposing hitters to a batting average of just 0.182. His strikeout to walk ratio of 163 KS to just 36 bases on balls is elite, and it allowed him to dominate the Cardinals the last time he faced them on May, 12 surrendering just one run in 7.2 innings. John Lester has been struggling this season, according to his baseball saving page, as he is in the this percentile in whiff percentage, 7th percentile in whiff percentage, 10th percentile in Zba, and 18th percentile in Zara. His 89.3 exit velocity is the highest of his career. Lester also throws five different pitches, fastball, cutter, chanju, sinker, curveball, and his heater has been hit the most, as it has a .358 batting average, with a .547 slugging percentage. He faced the Brewers once this season as a member of the Washington Nationals, as he didn't factor into the decision where he went four innings and gave up a run on five hits with no walks and four strikeouts. Woodruff may not have been a favorite in this pitching matchup five or more years ago, but these days it's a complete mismatch. The Milwaukee Brewers have been doing well as of late and is a reason why they have built a huge lead in the NL Central with a 73-47 record. Righty Brandon Woodruff will be taking the ball here as he is coming off a no decision against the Chicago Cubs where he went three innings and allowed a run, none earned, on two hits with three walks and strikeouts. The Cardinals' acquisition of John Lester is still somewhat of a mystery. The veteran lefty is clearly at the end of his career and wasn't enjoying much success at all in Washington. Lester hasn't been much better for his new team. While he did pitch better in his last outing against the Royals, his ERA in three starts as a Cardinal is 6.75. He can't go deep the way he used to, Lester has had only had one start this year of seven innings, and that was against the light-hitting Marlins. First place Milwaukee should knock him out early. Take the Brewers on the money line. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.